want to test your memory. Uh, it has to do with a tape like this. Every week for seven seasons, a tape would assign a mission to the IM Force. Explicit instructions were given for that particular week's adventure, and then in five short seconds, the tape would self-destruct. Now, before it does, let's introduce some of the members of the IM team as we continue our reunion series from one of television's most honored and popular shows, Mission Impossible. Please welcome Martin Landau, Greg Morris, and Peter Lupus. Okay. Oh. The bench. <laughs> <laughs> have all of you seen each other in the in, in the uh, years since? I'm sure you Off have. Off and on. Off yeah, and on. I had yeah. Wiki Marty yeah. since last week. Yeah, we see each other. Oh, yeah. you do. Once Rick's in living in yeah. Vegas these days, so we see him less. Yeah. yeah. Is it true that Lucille Ball discovered Mission, or, or really was yeah, the one that it was because the of it was yeah. because of Lucy? Lucy yeah. show went on. Lucy had. Uh, we started uh, with Desilu, and uh, Lucy owned Desilu, and yeah. of course she sold it to Paramount ultimately. But she wanted to get a couple of shows on, so she got Mission on the same year as she got Star Trek on. Both of those shows started together. We were mm -hmm. neighbors. Yeah, right, right. Shooting at the same time during that period. So she was responsible. She yeah, also, she was responsible. Uh, uh, during the time she had the studio, she was also responsible for Manic, so she had Mission Impossible, Star Trek, and Manic. Manic, Manic all at the same time. I do remember a dear and very talented man by the name of Bruce Geller. Oh, yes. yes. Who was the original producer that really was responsible for the show. Who was the brain. The Yes. Yeah. yeah, behind he was it. the brains. Yes. Yeah. Bruce passed away a couple of years ago in an airplane mm -hmm. crash. We Unfortunately, were shocked yeah. by it all. Yeah. Also, one of my, I must say this. One of the mm -hmm. reasons that Mission stayed on, because when we first went on the air, the time slot that we had, the competing networks, as you well know, competitions is the name of the game, mm -hmm. uh, they were throwing John Wayne, Apple Pie, Mom, the American flag, everything. Everything else. Yeah. And William Faley, who is the man at CBS, more than once in a board meeting, said that Mission was his favorite show, not just because it was on his network, which means like God saying, here comes lightning, move, right? Yes. So they said, let's move it around because the I boss mean, wants us to keep like it on the air. Yes. And then we picked up, and the first year, I think we were nominated for what, 11 Emmys? 13. Something like that. As a matter of fact, the network originally said that no one would sit still for this show. If they went to the uh, John or they went to the refrigerator or answered the phone, they wouldn't be able to understand what was going on. Mm -hmm. And we said, don't underestimate them. And the show proved to be, you know, a very... Mm -hmm. And I think that the, the credit is, you know, these guys were great on the show. And I felt, you know, yes, you become familiar with characters, but it was the kind of show I feel that could, you know, could have lived without anybody, actually. Yeah. Well, that's a tribute to, to the concept and yes, certainly yeah, to uh, Bruce Geller and Lucy, bless your heart, mm -hmm. for finding yes. it, bringing mm -hmm. it to the attention of the studio. Another thing it did, and it did something. We also had some great guest stars like your wife. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> she, was, she was on it very early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very early. early. Yeah. And, and Monty Markham was, was, uh, was on that show. Was yeah. a Hungarian. As we started it. Part. A his Hungarian first part on television. <laughs> <laughs> it was his he first did with Marianne and, and Barbara. That he told he me broke up the fight. Well, that was his <laughs> first part when he yeah, came from New York on television. He's the only one who could break up. But the thing that the message that you got from this show, and it was something very subliminal, and that was here was. Here was a black fella who could go with ease across borders, dress yes. in all sorts of Eastern Bloc uniforms, yes. and nobody noticed. ever noticed. That's right. <laughs> that shows you what kind of an actor he was. I'm an actor, right. Well, sir, they knew, well, they knew I had a razor in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was obvious, obviously yeah. by design. Yeah. Yes, it and, was. And if I remember going back, nobody said a lot about that. No. 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 Why? Well, I weighed 250 we didn't, at the time, and I yeah. protected him. <laughs> he was always on my right hip, you see. Yeah. So when he came through the door after me, they said, don't leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a real positive image. Yes, Absolutely. That's what I'm trying Absolutely. to say. Absolutely. The only leading uh, actor who had been black before that was Bill Cosby. And a lot of the southern stations didn't handle the show at that time, if you remember. It yes, took a while for that to happen. Yeah. And uh, I just think it was, you know, Greg being an intelligent actor and an intelligent guy presented a very intelligent person in that, in that uh, context. Also, yeah. also in the concept, there was never any... Bruce Geller and I had, a, had luncheon together for three hours. After luncheon. 
Yes, lunch. It was I already have lunch. lunch. <laughs> oh, don't you start talking about eating. Lunch. This one over here. Yeah. Two hours for oysters. <laughs> I mean, you know, oh, what are you going to have, money? Well, I'll start with the oysters, then I'll have the crab. Bring me the blue. Bring... He believed all no, that stuff. Lupus doesn't eat oysters. Lupus doesn't eat anything. Yeah. <laughs> I drink poetry drink. I've got to tell you something about Greg, though. You know how serious he comes off on that show. For seven years, I was never able to have him off camera. I could not look at his face because he had a thousand different... You know what? He'd always try to crack me up on my close-ups. And I'd always win. So, yeah, but I would look at his forehead, his nose, his chest, anything but his eyes. a lot of practical jokes on one another. Every day. Oh, yeah. Every day. Is this the ringleader? No, we all did. We all did. We made him think for two weeks that he was losing his hair. We used to pick on Loop a lot. I heard him once say, he came in and he said to make up, so I saw the show Sunday night, said, put more rouge on. I looked a little yellow. So every time we'd get into a scene, I would say, makeup. I said, I said, he looks like he's got yellow jaws. We had him looking like Cuchis there for about two weeks. <laughs> this is bad. We used to take a pool, as a matter of fact, where Pete used to sit down. He used to stay up late in those days. <laughs> He'd fall asleep. <laughs> Within well, a minute. in between Within shots. a minute. <laughs> now, most people, when they fall asleep or not off, their head goes like this, but not loop, you know. <laughs> so, so we used to take a pool within 60 seconds. Take numbers from one to sixty to see, see when he would fall. When he would fall. Well, I Gary, I didn't want anybody to know I was the sleeping. Trade papers and he'd go off. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'd act like I was reading a paper, so nobody knew I was napping. You know, so Barbara <laughs> caught me one day, and uh, she says, "Well, are you napping?" And I said. Yeah, I woke up and I said no. So about three days later, she had got the whole crew around me and they were taking pictures. I believe I was asleep. And <laughs> With the paper. They me on the show and I woke up and I'm surrounded. That's right. Is there going to be a, a reunion show, perhaps? Well, NBC's yeah, no, been talking about Paramount for two years. They've been talking about it. I would like to see that. Everybody would like to see that. Yeah. yeah. It would be fun. Right, yeah. NBC. It's, but but then right, on, a a serious, then on a serious note, there's only one thing in... I haven't had a chance to talk with Marty about it, but Lupus and Graves and I have discussed it kind of briefly. We will always have, if we do it again, we will always have that presence of Bruce Geller in the back of Absolutely. our heads. Absolutely. Because yeah. that was the man that put it all yeah. together, man. And Absolutely. He, that was his baby. Well, our thoughts are with Bruce today, and certainly our thoughts are with you as you sit here, and it's just been terrific for taking us back and making us realize that there were some terrific moments on television. Thanks to the three of you. Thank, Thank you. you.